Unfortunately, a lot of pickup artists have misconfused the concept of a neg, and I've heard guys at parties and stuff saying, like a girl, a hot girl walk into the room and they'll say, oh, what's that smell? And the girl will be like, I don't smell anything. And he'll be like, oh, it's definitely you. Like, and the girl's like, what the f you're, you're a f creep. Hey, what's up guys? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the cons of Mystery Method, all right? So what is a Mystery Method that is so negative? Mystery is a character from the book, The Game, a popular New York Times bestseller. He wrote the book called Mystery Method as a follow-on. And in that he describes his whole process about how he thinks you should go from attracting a woman to building comfort with her to seducing her, okay? And today I'm going to cover the negatives in his method, the stuff that does not apply in 2019. Okay, I have a previous video that goes over all the positive stuff, the good stuff that has carried forward into our modern day that can still be utilized to produce good results of women. Okay, but unfortunately a bunch of it is outdated and vastly suboptimal, as we'll discover in this video. So before we get started, I wanna encourage you to subscribe below if you have not already. Make sure you press the bell button so you can get alerted of six new videos a week, including hidden camera infield footage breakdowns, as well as theory videos, and my YouTube lives every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm also really excited to announce a whole bunch of boot camp tour dates, okay, live trainings, which is gonna be sweeping all across Europe. And there's also gonna be free talks given, in field footage breakdowns in person, okay? And I've hired on some of the top underground guys in the game to serve as coaches alongside me on these programs, okay? Guys that are legitimately killing it, guys around the 400 count range. And these guys have extremely technical game, they have extremely useful and practical advice, and a bunch of them have experienced coaching in the past. All right, so at the end of this video, I will go over those cities that are planned, and there will be the tour dates posted on my website at a later time. All right, but I'm really excited about this. We're gonna literally cover almost all of Europe, okay, from west to east, and it's gonna be fucking awesome, all right? But I will put out there very quickly that what is set in stone for dates is we are doing Las Vegas before hitting Europe. Las Vegas will be a 10-day program from March 15th to March 24th, okay? That goes from Friday all the way through that week to the following Sunday, all right? There's very limited availability on that. We already have a bunch of signups. So if you're interested in that, email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. So number one on the list of cons and negatives with the mystery method is peacocking. All right, for those of you familiar, it's dressing up in a ridiculous outfit, okay, or wearing a ridiculous feather boa or goggles or some extremely strange piece of attire or accessory that basically the theory goes, mystery thought this would make you stand out and the girl would be like, wow, what an interesting man, let me go speak to him, okay? And the theory was that this would cause the girl to approach you a couple times a day. I get approached a couple times a day. Even when I'm not dressed well. <laughs> and as she came to approach you and said, oh, nice whatever, like, or I like your jacket or whatever, you were supposed to say, you don't care about my jacket, you just talk to me because you're attracted to me. Okay, this was like the whole theory. The problem with this for the people that used to implement it and that are still implementing it in our modern dating and seduction community is that women just see this as weird, okay? A guy that's dressed like a total crazy person or is wearing some really crazy shit makes you look like a misfit, like an outcast, or that you're trying to be cool or trying to impress people or trying to make a statement or something like this. You don't see traditionally cool alpha dudes walking around with goggles and a top hat and a feather boa and like a kiss lips on their neck and all this stuff. Like if you have been following Real Social Dynamics in their videos, it's really got to the point where they're wearing like neon pink shoes and Mexican ponchos and indoor sunglasses and all this stuff, you know. That stuff is corny, it's cheesy, it's ridiculous. It's not gonna gain you points with girls, okay? It's not gonna make you look cool, it's just gonna make you look like an idiot. All right, so if you're peacocking, stop doing that. Dress like a normal person, have good style and good sense, but don't be a fucking fool. <laughs> Moving on to number two, negs, okay? Or what is called a negative compliment, okay? Mystery came up with this term. It's supposed to be a backhanded compliment where his classic example is you would say to a girl, nice nails, are they real? And she's like, no. Like you would ask for this if you can clearly see their fake nails. And she's like, no. And then you're supposed to say, oh, and kind of pause like she lost some value in your eyes and kind of like, it's like a negative, social hit, right? Maybe too calm for you. You look like a wild, wild person. No, no? I'm calm. You're calm? Yeah, you're pretty chill. 
pretty pretty boring. <laughs> Thank you. Are you are you Native American? No. 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 Damn it. Wait, but you look like trouble though. You mean trouble? Well, yeah. Look, I mean, look at your clothes and everything. You know, it looks pretty good. I like those nails? Are they real? No, they're not. Oh, okay. No. Well, they're nice anyway. Thank you. Let me get your number and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm actually So you're like, oh, well, I guess they're nice anyways. And the girl is kind of left feeling like vulnerable because you insulted her, but not directly. You weren't like. Oh, those nails look like shit, bitch. Which, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of pickup artists have misconfused the concept of a neg. And I've heard guys at parties and stuff saying, like a girl, a hot girl, walk into the room and they'll say, "Oh, what's that smell?" And the girl will be like, "I don't smell anything." And he'll be like, "Oh, it's definitely you." Like, and the girl's like, "What the fuck? You're you're a fucking creep." The problem here is that it's totally unnecessary. I view all of game through the lens of compliance and non-compliance. So you're advancing things forward along a structured path. Okay, from a high level. And when the girl does not fall in line or comply to move forward at a particular step, there's certain things you can do at that step to build more comfort and value and get her back into your frame to move things forward. All right, but insulting her indirectly, I don't think is one of them. Okay, I've experimented with this. Lots of other guys have experimented with this. It's really just unnecessary. It's, it's like you're out there, the problem is it's coming from the frame of like, okay, I'm gonna use my neg now, or I'm gonna do this now. You should be entering the interaction like you're already way higher value than the girl, not in an arrogant way, but just in an assuredness way of your own value. And you should not be needing to go to your neg arsenal, okay, to knock her down a bunch of pegs and win her over. Remember, the goal is not to win her over in the interaction, it's to find out her logistics and initiate physicality and sexuality determine her logistical situation and take her home or meet her on a date at a later time if it's not possible at that time. So, negs are not needed, okay? You, you already have won before you enter, that's the mindset. And you're not in there to win her over and do these fancy tricks with negs, okay? So stop using negs if you're using them in the current day. Another concept I think Mystery got wrong, okay? Number three on the cons list is that he advocates you should approach the entire group of people that you're coming up to talk to, the strangers. So let's say there's four people in the group and you see the pretty one, which they refer to as the target in stupid game terms. So there's a girl in the group you wanna to talk to and mystery advocates you go up to the entire group and you are talking to everyone in the group, okay? Now, I personally, in my own method and what I teach the students and what, which works far better is that you just go straight in at the girl you want to talk to and you just talk to her. He calls it group theory and stuff like this, that if you're talking to the group, it's better to engage all of them and stuff like this. I only engage the friends as needed. So if there's four people in a group and I come and start talking to the one, if the other three don't care or don't notice or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna have my interaction with that girl and, and move things forward as necessary. If one of the friends becomes involved, or is like starting to like look over and make looks or whatever, at that point I'll say, hey, what's up, I'm John, nice to meet you, right? Or the friend comes over and says, we're lesbians, we're not talking to guys tonight. Any one of these code words, which just means it translates into, we get approached by lots of nice guy beta guys that we don't wanna to talk to. We assume you are one of these guys as well because this is how most guys are. Prove to us otherwise, okay? And it's, that doesn't mean be a fancy dancing monkey or do little tricks. It just means she wants to see that you're normal. So you're like, hey, what's up? John, smile, nice to meet you. I was just talking to your friend, right? And you only get involved with the friends as necessary. So I disagree with his group theory. I think it's a waste and it's also not very effective. Which leads me to point number four, relating to the group theory. Mystery says, mistakenly, in my view, he says that you should ignore the girl that you like. Okay, so let's, going back to the example of four girls in a group, you're talking to the other three, right? You approach the whole group, now you're just speaking to the three that you don't like and then kind of ignoring the girl that you do like, all right? And his whole rationale behind this is that if you ignore the girl that you like, she's used to getting all the attention, right? If she's the hot one of the group, she's used to everyone paying attention to her and giving her compliments and attention. And so when you ignore her, it's kind of like stripping her of value and making her want to get your attention which is the same concept as a neg, it's the same thought process. It's like if you bring her down with an indirect you know, hit, then she's like, oh, I need to regain this guy's favor, his liking. So she's gonna try harder and be like chasing after you or something. 
Same thing with it when he says ignore the girl you like, he thinks that she's gonna just be coming in and trying to get the guy's attention and then the guy's gonna be negging her. That's what he says over the shoulder. You're like, is she always like this to the friends, right? And I used to do shit like this. And granted, it does work on some level with some girls, okay? Like I did cross my first 100 just using mystery method. I'm not just bashing all these principles as being completely useless, but I think they are out of place. There's far better models now, which is in my system, which I've evolved and optimized that work far better. Um, these concepts are outdated and efficient. Unfortunately, him and his protégés and his students are still stuck in 2006. And I really think a very disappointing thing about Mystery is he's failed to evolve. He told me personally when we used to talk a bunch a couple years ago that he kind of leveled off in the low 300 count. Again, late count is not everything. But I really think if he would have evolved his system and allowed it to change, like my system as it exists today, I would still change any piece of it if someone can show me something better, right? And that's how it got to this point. So, unfortunately, the ignore the girl you like thing is part of his system currently to this day. And I think that is number four of what is not working very well in his system. And last but not least, number five, his concept called the seven hour rule. Okay, there's other cons that I could get into, but I just want to do five in this video. The seven hour rule basically says you should spend at least four hours and a lot of times up to 10 hours building comfort with a girl vibing and interacting, making her more comfortable, building comfort and value with her before you have sex with her, okay? Average of seven hours. That's why he calls it the seven hour rule. So it's a quantitative metric of time passing before you have sex with a girl. Now his whole rationale for this is that if you try to do it sooner than that seven hour average, is that she's gonna sleep with you and then later on regret it. She's gonna get caught up in her horniness and her sexualness in the moment. And then later on, the comfort won't be there to back it up and she's gonna feel slutty about it and bad about it. And she's going to pin that on you and she's gonna just associate her feelings of sluttiness and blame you, okay? And that, cause she doesn't wanna blame herself because it's cognitive dissonance. Okay, this is actually good in theory and I do agree with some of this, but I rather look at it as a qualitative amount of comfort. So there's little tricks and little things you can do, which I will make a subject of another video, how to build qualitative amounts of comfort in a fast way. But there's very specific things you can do to kind of short circuit that qualitative amount of comfort that she needs to not get buyer's remorse. Because buyer's remorse, the concept of regretting things after and then you know not wanting to see the guy or, or feeling really, really slutty because of the sexual act she performed, <laughs> That is still a real problem. It's very rarely talked about in the seduction and pickup world is the buyer's remorse concept, but you don't have to just put in like your standard four hours or seven hours. I think it's, there's tons of examples of girls for myself and girls for my clients where, you know, you meet a girl, brief night game interaction or brief online game interaction, which is where most of your leads should be coming from. And then you have your one hour date and you sleep with the girl. And if you do certain key things, she's going to want to see you again and she's not going to feel like a slut about it. All right, so I'll make that a subject of another video. So that's the five things, the five cons of Mystery Method in 2019. I hope that was very useful for you. Now I wanna go over the coaching that I'm going to be offering all across Europe, and this is starting in like five weeks. All right, so the first and only US stop currently, and there's gonna be a US tour as well, but the current only US stop is gonna be a 10 day program in Las Vegas from March 15th through the 24th. Okay, now a couple of the guys, that have joined are gonna be on it for only three days. Okay, one of the guys is only gonna be on it for seven days, and those are due to financial constraints or being able to take off from work for a long enough time. Okay, so it can be turned into a three day, seven day, or 10 day. If you're interested in going over the pricing and details of that, email me, and we'll put the email up here, johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. We will go over the details of that. Now, I will go over the European cities. The cool thing about this that really gets me excited, okay, is I'm really devoted to my YouTube channel this year. Like, I only got serious about the channel about a month ago when I was at 3,100 subscribers. Before that, I was just filming with a web camera. I wasn't putting out very consistent videos. I didn't really care because the past seven years I've been coaching have been word of mouth referrals, okay? So my services have been so high class and getting guys such good results so consistently that I just get a whole bunch of word of mouth referrals and I don't ever have to do any active marketing or any active social media building. This year I am building a team and I'm building a whole new wave in the industry, okay? The brand is going to be the top guys at this, which are mostly underground guys. What I mean by that is 
they're not mainstream coaches. Most of the guys you see with big subscriber counts on YouTube are not crushing it at dating. They're not crushing it at seduction. Okay, they're just good marketers. In almost every single case, I would say almost it's it's almost every single case. Okay, unfortunately, but I've recruited the guys that are actually extremely good at this that do have a lot of really good value to put out. Okay, two of them are coming on this entire tour with me in Vegas and then we're doing a couple months in Europe and I'll go over those cities in a second. But these are guys that I vetted that have extremely good game, like some of the best in the world that are also going to be starting their own YouTube channels. I'll introduce them when we're touring around. We're going to be doing videos together in all these different cities. My video editor is also going to be joining us for the whole entire tour. Uh, the guy that makes all the videos pretty and funny and that does all the little fancy shit that you guys get to see in the end product. Um, he's really, really good and he's going to be bringing a GoPro and he's going to be filming us in the clubs. He's going to be filming us outdoors and all the different types of events we're doing, all the sites we're seeing, all the girls are with and the, the dates and all this stuff. It's gonna be just a shitload of footage and then he's gonna go crazy with it and make awesome legendary montages and some of that. But I'm really gonna use this tour to do free talks in all these different cities around Europe and also go over infield footage breakdowns in these cities and run live programs. And really we just wanted to amass tons of videos together wingmanship together as coaches. I'm gonna be training them formally as coaches. They're gonna be ready to teach in other parts of the world. They can speak multiple languages. They're gonna be able to teach in South America, in Asia. Okay, we're gonna have guys in North America. I have a whole bunch of coaches coming on and I'm only hiring guys that are extremely, extremely, extremely good. I wanna make that really clear. They have to be top-notch at game. They have to be cool dudes. They have to be alpha dudes. Okay, and they have to be really, really, really passionate about this. Okay, because so we're building a new wave here that's totally backed by quality. There's no bullshit advice being given like has always been the case in the past. There's no fucking garbage fluff content. Okay, there's no bullshit trainings. Okay, guys are not gonna come off our program sucking shit and we're not gonna have any bullshit products. We're not gonna have lots of products either because like the two that I made that covers almost all of game in its entirety, there's not much else you need. So we're not gonna, no, we're not gonna be a product churning outhouse, okay? I want that to be very clear. <laughs> outhouse <laughs> we're not going to be an outhouse shitting out products it'll be really cool to get on camera with these guys make a bunch of videos with these guys film infield with these guys wing with these guys all that stuff all right so without further ado let me go over the list of cities all right so here's the city list in tentative order we're going to be doing las vegas march 15th through 14th in the united states then we're going to barcelona spain then we are going to rome italy then we are going to Dublin, Ireland. Then we are, and I'm half Irish, that'll be fun. Then we're going to London, England. We are going to Edinburgh, Scotland. Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Berlin, Germany. Warsaw, Poland. Zagreb, Croatia. Vienna, Austria. Bratislava, Slovakia. Prague, Czech Republic. Budapest, Hungary. Athens, Greece, Sofia, Bulgaria, Bucharest, Romania, Riga, Latvia, Lithuania, possibly, uh, Helsinki, Finland, Belgrade, Serbia, Minsk, Belarus, Oslo, Norway. Okay, those might change. We might add a few more spots based on how things are going, based on interests we get in different areas. But the focus of this, while we're gonna take signups, is really to just fucking get shitloads more infield, okay, across all the different coaches. Um, get tons of amazing videos for YouTube filmed, okay, so you're gonna get a little break from this white wall and instead be seen with different cityscapes. We're gonna be doing videos where the editor's filming me while we're walking, okay, so that'll be fun. I'll be, I'll be walking and talking. We'll be doing pans of cityscapes, like RSD, that'll be really cool. You know, it'll make the videos really awesome. Just like theirs. <laughs> but no, we're not gonna be talking about fluff. It's not gonna be like a two hour speech where afterwards you're like, oh, okay. And you go to the club and still fucking get crushed, right? <laughs> Which has been the case with most of these stupid videos that these companies put out. Those are the cities I will announce an official schedule. This is gonna happen in March, April, moving into a little bit of May as well. 
Um, we will probably do an Asian, South American tour, um, as well as North American and Canada tour. And we might even make it out to Australia. We shall see. But email me if you have a city you want us to come to. Email me at johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com or if you are interested in any of those programs, they will fill up fast, I promise you. We are the new wave of pickup coming out, all right? There's no fucking bullshit guys on my team, even across the whole board, okay? My web developers and my graphic designers, video editors, I'm only hiring people that are extremely passionate, that are extremely smart, that are extremely motivated, and that are extremely expertly skilled at what they do, and that carries on even to the live coaches, all right? So these coaches are gonna be putting out content that's fucking fire, that's rock solid, that's innovating, and pushing the, the limits in the community, okay, which is what I believe in, what I've, what I've always done myself, and what I'm going to expect of them, all right? They're gonna have to be able to do push-ups a little better than what you saw in the last RSD video with Papa. <laughs> but no, it's great, one of the guys, he, he was like in the South African military and police force, and he's like a world-class fighter, so we're gonna be, you know, putting out instructional videos in martial arts, takedowns and grappling, submissions, all that kind of stuff. Basics of, of fighting, being able to defend yourself. Um, not that you should go looking for fights, but though it's gonna be a nice rounded brand for like optimizing yourself as a man. All right, pickup and dating will be the main focus, but we are going to be rolling into a whole bunch of related topics and having experts cover those things. It's gonna be a huge year, okay? We're gonna keep blowing up the YouTube. Um, I have a whole lot of cool stuff coming out and email me, johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com about any of those programs and more updates will be on the way. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.